Good morning. I'd like to look with you today at Psalm 121. Let's read it together. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and the earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither sleep, slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Interesting words in a time like the time we're in right now. Well, let's look at it from the first verse to the last. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. He asks the question, where does his help come from? We need to look up to help that's from outside of ourselves. God is our help. God is our helper, and our help comes from him. If he made the heavens and the earth, I think he can help us with any of our needs. It says here that he's not going to slumber or sleep. God hasn't forgotten us. God is not on a vacation. Uh, He knows all about your current needs and my current needs. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. God is, is on the job. He's on task. He's on point. He hasn't forgotten us. And then we find verses 5 and 6. The Lord's our keeper. He's our shade. He's our protector. The sun will not strike us by day nor the moon by night. This doesn't mean we won't get a sunburn. This means that God will protect us against all the the things that seem like they're ready to overwhelm us. We don't need to go to bed, pull up the sheets and be afraid. God's on our side. God is looking out for us. We can we can give everything to him. Take a deep breath, and close our eyes when we go to bed. <clears throat> Verses 7 and 8, the Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. I think sometimes we've forgotten this. Somehow we feel a little bit like um, God will preserve us from all evil except, you know, a certain virus or all evil except this financial trouble. God will be on our side. He'll get us through everything where we have a need. We really shouldn't be people of fear. We should be people, people who trust the Lord. He's on our side. We're on his team. So let's... Let's have a word of prayer together as we begin this day. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, you know the things we're facing. You know that whoever's watching this um, this little meditation, you, Lord, know their needs. Bless them. Strengthen and encourage them. Help them to know that you are bigger than all, any and all of their troubles. Thank you, Lord, for being that kind of a God. So, Lord, we just ask your protection and watch care today over all that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord keep you and draw you close to Jesus today and give you a word for someone else who needs a word about Jesus today. God be with you. Amen.